Happy 420. Um, <laughs> this is this is a little this is gonna go up a bit late because I was busy on 420. But um, I just want to show off my bongs. I was talking to my cousin Travion the other day. He was just like, you don't, you only need one bong. But it's like I've got multiple bongs, and there's a story behind all my bongs. Um, first, it's like um felicia felicia is is a hello kitty bubbler um felicia actually just turned six recently uh, i already remember that because of facebook memories <laughs> but so it's a hello kitty bong it's a black hello kitty bong so maybe you can guess why she's named felicia but um It's a it's a thing. It's like me and my best friends from high school, Erks and um, David. We we have this thing about Hello Kitty. It's like Hello Kitty is just Japanese Mickey Mouse. So the way that some people obsess and are crazy about Mickey Mouse, we kind of are about Hello Kitty. Um, not as crazy as some people are, but. It's like, as, as otakus, as American otakus, we have to own one piece of Hello Kitty merchandise. I wanted the Bass Maru bass guitar. Um, but David beat me to that. John's got lots of little weird Hello Kitty toys and shit. Like, he, he obviously wins when it comes to the obsessive fandom of it. But, um... That's my Hello Kitty bong. Um, next is... I have this Skull bong. Um, it has water in it. But the Skull bong... It actually is plastic. It goes to my gas mask. Um, yeah, I have a gas mask. Um, I bought... I traded from my cousin Jimmy... Um, but yeah, I got a gas mask and this has the potential to be a functional gas mask if I got filters for it, but, um, if I got the filtering, um, casing and shit, but yeah, it just snaps on right here. And voila. <laughs> but yeah. Um, this one's this one's fun. It's one that I don't bring out a lot. It, it's one of those things. It's like when when it when it was in front of me, I I pictured it in my head. I imagined it, me playing Borderlands with it on, and just taking hits as I'm playing Borderlands. Um, it it's not like that at all because it is very uncomfortable. Um, you have to take off your glasses so you can't see shit. Um, Arya definitely likes to pull it out more than I do. Andy likes to pull it out a lot. It's like, which... I'm surprised it didn't come over from 420 this year. Because um, he came over last year. Last, last year, but also we didn't have the coronavirus shit. And he was just like... Gas mask? I'm like, sure, if you want to do your gas mask. But um, I've been just using it like a regular fucking bong recently. And then the last bong I want to show you is Marley. Marley? Yep, there's a police. Marley is a bong that my departed sister Brittany Carr gave me. The 420 before she passed. And so, yeah, Marley is very special. Um, I broke the original slide that came with Marley recently when Felicia fell off the table. <laughs> like, Felicia's a sturdy, heavy one. And um, she fell off the table. And it's like, 
Yeah, and I've got various. You you've seen there's a video on how to make the palm bottle bubbler, the makeshift one. And it's like people have, have talked so much shit on me on fucking Doobie about that. It's like get a real pipe. I was like, I have real pipe. I have real glass. I'm just a stoner. I like the DIY makeshift shit. And it's like there's more build up on workshops coming. It's just that materials, goddamn materials, goddamn ideals, like, cause it's like like some of the like the steamroller, um, that once was a big real long ass peace pipe, like that was like just something I came across. That was a hard cardboard tubing, and finding something like that, like this long or longer. Like if I found it, it was too long. I could cut it, it cause it's gotta be it's gotta be a certain thickness, where it's like it's some real work to like drill through it if you're not using power tools. <laughs> it's like it's like when I when I made the steamroller, it it was it was in high school. It was in high school, like. I had just moved back home from being in placement my senior year. And I literally, like, was, like, coming home from school one day, and it's like, oh, hey, here's this hard plastic, hard, hard cardboard tube, and I, I brought it in from the fucking dumpster. <laughs> it was like, well, not dumpster, it was recycling. But... And just over the years, it got shorter and shorter and shorter. It was it was it was really fun when I was dating Mo. Like, yeah, it was. But yeah, those are those are my real bongs. Um, I don't have any of my DIYs makeshifts around except for. I do have one of the bubblers right here. One of the hookahs, I should say. But I'm not actually using this hookah right now because... Um... Tubing. That's that's the issue with the materials. It's like finding materials. And it's like I've got a bunch of like big PVC pipes that I really need to just clean and polish... Um, I need to get some lacquer for so many projects. I need to get sandpaper for a few projects. But, um, yeah, those are my bongs. Like, I mean, I love stoner shit like this, like DIY, because I remember a time where I was a kid and I couldn't buy glass. Glass is so permanent. And it's like, there are some pieces that I have like, I still have my first glass piece that I bought as an adult. It's just that on some dumb shit, I stuck a cigarette filter in it trying to smoke. Like, <laughs> a, like a cigarette. And I can't get it out. And But also, it's like, the center is broken. It's like, you can use it if you have a screen in it. But it's like, glass was always something permanent to me. Especially as someone who grew up in placement. I but as an adult I have so many pieces but the Hello Kitty bong is it came from um Imperial Glass by way of a garage sale so the story is like I was uh, I was go I was Going to GameStop for something. I can't remember. This is the first time I worked at GameStop. But I think I think I was going. No, no, because it was the new location. But um, I had been in Imperial Glass like years before. And saw that they had a top shelf of Hello Kitty bubblers like this. And I was like, I went to work for some reason. Oh, I probably rented again. I did one of the employee rentals. And um I saw 
I, um, there was these people who were moving. They're having a moving garage sale, and um, they had this, you know, general garage sale, general white people garage sale shit in Uptown. But then they had a black light in the garage, in the garage, and I could see. I could see some posters that were weed related. And so I was like, I went in and as soon as I walk in, there's someone watching me. There's this older chubby like sl- like slubby dude. I'm like I was like, hey, what's up? He's like, what's up? He's like And I look and I see a bunch of fucking pipes and bongs that have been cleaned. I was just like I was like, is this stuff for sale? He's like, yeah, yeah, we're moving. We're moving to Portland and we gotta, we're got we getting rid of all of our shit. I was like, but this shit was good enough to travel away. He's like, yeah, but the wife just wants to start all over. I was like, oh shit, okay. And I saw Felicia and I was like, how much is Felicia? He's like, I was like, how, he was like, how much is the Hell Kitty bomb? He was just like, $20. I was like, bet. And she went home with me that day. Um, I don't feel like I got ripped off because she was pre-owned. Because she's in great condition. Like, I mean, I even replaced, like, the whole female slide and rubber part. Like, that's all been brand new because it broke. It, it wore out because it was all, that was a bit, like, worn and raggedy. But it was like, I mean, she still looks good. And she's been replaced. Like, I've had her for six years, seven years almost. That's the story. And Marley, it's like, rest in peace forever to my sister, Brittany Carr. It's like, she went too soon. But it was that weight. Alright, I'm going to wrap this video up and I'm going to go be nosy because that was just a car accident up the street.